English for a l abordage. Basically, pirates would use the term a l abordage as a battle cry when boarding enemy ships, like described in the phrase's wiktionary entry. Is there an English translation for this, or is it an expression that has no direct English equivalent and should be used in its French form? Away borders is a classic cry. Or, away all borders in us native use. Wikipedia, Daniel V. Gallery, the last man to use it officially. They say, This incident was the last time that the order away all borders was given by a U.S. Navy captain. Lieutenant Albert David, who led the boarding party, received the Medal of Honor for his courage in boarding a foundering submarine that presumably had scuttling charges set to explode, the only Medal of Honor awarded in the Atlantic Fleet during World War II. Task Group 22.3 was awarded the Presidential Unit Citation and Captain Gallery received the Distinguished Service Medal for capturing U-505. Drawing from sources such as Robert Louis Stevenson's Pirate Fiction, you may be more likely to hear terms such as Avast Lovers or Them What Dies Will Be The Lucky Ones, Smiley Face. The plausibility of away borders is somewhat increased, somewhat, by sites such as War Artisans Workshop Away Borders Away Borders Pulp Fiction Loud YouTube Documentary Away Borders And again Volume 2 of Alan Cunningham's Paul Jones, A Romance, 1826, still in the age of sale, and less than 50 years after the events novelized, has the following passages. He saw John Paul dappled with blood from head to heel, and smeared with gunpowder, a sword in A.E. hand and a pistol in the other, flying from deck to deck, and crying, with a voice as loud as a carronade, board, board. 29, when Corby, waving his cutlass, cried out, board, board, 50 men were at his back in a moment, and so close were the ships to each other that a score and upwards leaped on board without waiting. 162, remember, not a shot must be fired till I give the word, and when I cry, board. You must board, from the cabin boy to the captain. 322 to 3. Cunningham was a landsman his entire life, but practiced as a journalist, novelist and popular poet in London at the height of the Napoleonic Wars. It is likely that his characters say, if not what sailors of the day actually said, what a novel reading public avid for tales of nautical daring do expected them to say.